Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell joined his Vincentian colleague, Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez, and scores of Vincentian nationals to bid farewell to former Prime Minister Sir James Mitchell on Saturday. In a tribute delivered at the Kingston Methodist Church, Dr. Mitchell describes Sir James as an upstanding Caribbean national, greatly revered for his political acumen, his love for country, his humility in service to people, and his commitment to regionalism. Sir James was described as a longtime friend to Grenada's Prime Minister. In fact, Dr. Mitchell credits him with being a central figure in his emergence as a leader, and he commended his humility. From the humble beginnings in Beckway, Sir James maintained his humility throughout his life and, on, and turned out to be a Caribbean leader of the highest repute. Humility and love are essential attributes as far as I'm concerned of any successful politician or any successful service-oriented person. And any display of arrogance, in my view, is likely to undermine whatever goodwill is created among supporters. Sir James was the epitome of a good politician. He was not only well respected at home, but he also played a significant role in the political and other developments elsewhere in the Caribbean. Dr. Mitchell said he first met Sir James in 1972 when he captained the Grenada cricket team and they played against St. Vincent. Years later, their relationship was rekindled when he became involved in politics and Dr. Mitchell spoke at length about his gratitude for the guidance Sir James provided. Legend, hero, stalwart, exemplary leader were some of the words the Grenadian leader used to describe Sir James and he reflected on the many important lessons he learned through his friendship with the former Vincentian Prime Minister. I've personally, as I've said over and over, learned a lot from St. James, including the enduring value of friendship and the redeeming nature of political tolerance, something I believe is sadly lacking about, about many of our politicians today. We can be political opponents, but when it comes to matters of national interests, we must be able to put those differences aside and do what is best for the country and our people. <laughs> Lying here before us is one of our greatest. In fact, our greatest. Sir James was laid to rest on December 18th following a state funeral that began on mainland St. Vincent and culminated on the island of Beckway. Chrislina John, GBN News.